News salutes our veterans. Right now, active duty service members are risking their lives, and what they witness often puts them in a dark place mentally. National correspondent Angela Brown shares a unique program helping these service members. The program is called Big Sky Bravery, and it's different because it focuses on active duty special operations forces. Jake Kaufman speaks for those who can't. War is very gruesome, and you see and do things that's hard to fathom that you've done and you've seen. I spent eight or nine years being gone, about 300 days a year. Kaufman, a retired Air Force pararescue man, survived brutal combat. I got blown up by a couple grenades in 2013. After retiring, Kaufman said he didn't want to be here anymore when someone recommended Big Sky Bravery. We had a few recipients, unfortunately, say that they were suicidal before they came out and after they had left Big Sky Bravery, uh, they no longer want to hurt themselves. First Sergeant retired Jeremy Keller is the Chief Strategy Officer for Big Sky Bravery in Montana. After spending 17 years in special operations, serving in Afghanistan, 18 combat deployments, putting up mental walls to survive. My ability to be a husband and a father um, was severely tarnished. Watching Jeremy struggle inspired his brother-in-law, Josh McCain, to start Big Sky Bravery eight years ago. Start something for individuals who have sacrificed their entire life to defend our Constitution. It's a week-long program for active duty special operation forces, allowing them to decompress through high adrenaline activities during the day. Not only is that person gonna help them learn how to ski and fly fish and all these other recreational things, they're more importantly gonna show them that vulnerability is, is the key to success here. Then at night, it gets personal, asking service members probing questions like this one. What's troubling you in your life? A mental and emotional restart for those still serving, witnessing the horrors of combat and carrying that burden with them. Who we want them to be when they leave is just somebody who has hope. So far, Big Sky Bravery has helped roughly 477 service men and women. If you want to help out, scan the QR code on the bottom of your screen. Reporting in Washington, D.C., I'm Angela Brown.